Thank you, Council Member Rivera. Thank you, small business owners. Thank you, everybody who's here today listening to us talk about the work that we're doing that we hope to do in the future. Um, I just wanted to take you back because I was back on the ground floor when this program was getting started, when the three organizations got put together. We met the call um, with the help of USBNYC to make an economic justice program. We made the call, we met the call to make a racial justice program. 99% of our clients are low income. 75% of our clients are people of color. We serve people who don't speak English. We serve people in outer boroughs. Um, we serve immigrants, minorities, women-owned businesses, veteran-owned businesses, queer-owned businesses. Those are our focal points. Those are, those are the business owners who haven't had the tools, who haven't had the access to resources that we focus on. And, and we get results. I still have, I come from private practice um, before I jumped ship and, and became a nonprofit attorney. And I still have a network of private attorneys who are having a really hard time uh, uh, representing commercial tenants uh, against their landlords. Um, and, I, and I hear that throughout the chatter. I hear that in the, in the bar. Um, we, on the other hand, get results. It's hard. My team works really hard. The Brooklyn A team works really hard, as does the Taper Justice team. But as you heard, we are getting results for our clients. We are getting terminations. We are getting abatements. We are getting agreements. We are getting certainty for these clients at a moment when they need it most, right? And just keep in mind, the courts are about to reopen. Landlords are getting their papers together for all of the months of rent that, that clients couldn't, couldn't be paying because they've been forced to close because of the pause order. Um, and so just because they're about allowed to reopen doesn't mean that their problems are about to cease. So I just, I wanted to say, Thank you to the small business owners today who've shared your stories. Thank you to the CLA attorneys who are continuing to fight every single day. Um, and thank you to Council Member Rivera and the rest of the council who can hopefully keep this program to continue.